Okay, chapter 2.3 in the 10-3 workbook, looking at estimating length in both imperial and metric. Uh, try these. It just says name a metric unit and an imperial unit you would use to estimate each measurement. So basically what makes sense in terms of a unit of measure. So height of a tree, for example, saying kilometers, too big, saying um, centimeters, too small. So a height of a tree most likely would be meters, okay? And in terms of uh, imperial, we'll do metric in the first column, imperial in the second, um, might be feet, most likely, okay? Could be yards, so feet or yards. Width of a book, then in metric, that for sure would be centimeters. I'll just use the abbreviation, um, width of a book, likely inches. Diameter of a golf ball, that, um, it's small, so it would be, you could use centimeters or millimeters. And inches um, for imperial, because there isn't a smaller unit, uh, it would be a fraction, it would be a couple, probably a couple inches and a fraction. Uh, distance from Winnipeg to Vancouver, that's a long distance, so that would be uh, kilometers or miles. Okay. All right, so to estimate a length, you can compare it to a personal referent. So that's a word that you may not have seen before. Think about when you say reference um, or refer to. Um, that's something similar to this. So basically, a personal referent is an object that would have a measurement of something that's close to a meter or close to a yard or close to an inch. It's something personal that you know what that um, distance is. And so you could use it to estimate some measurements. Okay, so... Um, it can be a length or distance that you can easily remember in either unit. For example, one centimeter is about the width of your little finger. Okay, one foot is a little longer than your foot. So list some SI, so that's metric reference based on everyday objects. So one millimeter, um, that's really, if you think about, um, maybe you've bought some pencils, um, mechanical pencils, and you have different choices of lead, uh, the width of the lead. So most common is 0.7 of a millimeter. So that might, if you if you actually look at a old fashioned pencil, that's closer to to one millimeter. So um, that's a common one. Lead of we often call it an HB pencil. Okay, or we could say, if you take a look at um, the width of a piece of cardboard, not paper, paper is pretty thin, but maybe a width of cardboard, width of piece of cardboard. Okay, or something that's kind of similar to that. Um, already set up here with uh, of your little finger might be used for one centimeter and again kind of depends on how big your little finger is right something you might want to look at um, your cell phone so my cell phone um, I can't show it to you in the video um, but it's an iPhone, it's an older version, but the width of it is, um, is about a centimeter. And depending on what kind of calculator, um, might be the same. So you can check out your calculator. 10 centimeters length, uh, that might be um, the length of a cell phone. And again, some cell phones are getting pretty big, um, so might not be for all, but that might be something or calculator. Um, that's 10 centimeters and one meter. Um, so 
a lot of building is in imperial um, and so you'll find that if you take a look at the width of a door um, it'll be about three feet so about a yard uh, the height of um, desks are sometimes about a, a yard but maybe the height of a countertop um, again one meter is it's a little longer than a stride as well so you would want to before you sort of use your referent regularly you'd want to measure it make sure it's close okay really you're not going to be asked to to do too many measurements um, using estimation like this next one lists some imperial so one inch so that is now again um, you could say it's the width of your thumb, and that's how it was in, invented. Um, but for me, my thumb isn't that wide, but from the uh, knuckle, so length from the, uh, from the knuckle of my thumb to the tip is about an inch. Okay, one foot, and that's, uh, again, Kind of makes sense. Length of a foot depends on your feet. Okay, so you'd want to measure that before you use this too regularly. Uh, one yard, as I mentioned before, that's um, width of a door most commonly is about three feet, which is one yard. Um, it was invented, so the length of a stride And again, you want to check that out. It wouldn't be the length of, if you have a little brother or sister that's in grade two, their stride isn't gonna be a yard, right? So kind of depends on who's using this. So those are some reference. Take a look at the next page. It's got a copy of a $5 bill. It says estimate the length and width using an imperial referent and a metric. So what reference would you, will you use? Well, I said for imperial, for me, um, closest to an inch was from the knuckle to tip of thumb. Okay, and so that would be for inches. And then for metric, for centimeters, um, you might want to, what do we say there? So what would be easiest here? Um, centimeters, the width of your little finger, finger, width of a cell phone, so it depends on that. Maybe it's your little finger, that would be easy to use. So um, maybe it's not your little, little finger, it's your index or something like that. So I'll just put finger. Okay, and so what are your estimates? So you want to take a look. And so here, if I use my, I can't put my finger on this video, um, doesn't quite work that way. So um, if I were to, to put the, my thumb and test it, how many, what I, how many of these kind of would I get? So it turns out if I did this, um, I get about six, um, about six inches and the width, um, so I did this on a workbook separately and the width I got about three inches. Metric, so inches, inches. Metric, I got about 15 centimeters um, and about seven centimeters. Okay, and that's really close to what the actual dimensions are. All right, and that's it for estimating.